Well, hello there. Welcome to the video. <laughs> Yo, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video on the MTG Nerds channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a new thing that got released, or uh, not released, it got announced the other day. You might have seen it, you might not have. Either way, I'm going to talk about it today. So, we are going to be talking about the Fetch Lands Secret Layer that is coming out. It's uh, Secret Layer Ultimate Edition. Fetch Lands are being printed again. Pretty good stuff. I'm going to be talking to you about that right now. But before we hop into this, if you want to help out the channel, just subscribing and liking the video helps out a ton. I'd appreciate it. It takes like two seconds out of your day. It really helps out the channel a ton. So if you can do that, it would really mean a lot to me. And if you want to help support the channel even more, you can check out Patreon. That is linked below. It costs a couple bucks a month. You can get some sweet goodies. Or if you go up a little bit, you get some packs sent to you every month. Pretty good stuff there. And finally, if you are interested, you can check out custom commander decks down below. If you're interested in some uh, custom decks for yourself, they're all pretty budget. Some more expensive, like competitive modern decks. But all the commander decks are pretty cheap. Down below, click the links. Check them out in the description. All right, let's hop into this video. So... We have a fetch land secret layer. So what's this going to look like? It is containing five fetch lands, and those are going to look like what you see on the screen right around up here. So first of all, these are actually going to be only sold in your local game store. I really appreciate that they're doing something specifically that only the local game stores get because it helps them to kind of stay in business and make some money help support your local game store buy it if you have the funds to do so um it is definitely a good move on their part or a very appreciative move on their part to make it uh lgs store uh, lgs exclusive so that they get some money for themselves it can keep their businesses up and running and keep you coming back to the store and playing with your playgroups but we have five different fetch lands in this set. It's going to be Marsh Flats. They all have new arts. You'll see them, like I said, on the screen. They all have different arts. Each one is done by a different artist uh, containing different planes of magic. So here are your five fetch lands in the set. Marsh Flats, Scalding Tarn, Burdent Catacombs, Arid Mesa, and Misty Refuge. So pretty fun stuff those arts are absolutely beautiful i especially like the arid mesa and the scalding tarn ones um however i mean they're all beautiful and honestly Ver vernon catacombs is really uh really beautiful as well um and marsh flats and why not throw the, the, the misty reinforced they're all beautiful you get the point <laughs> you'll see a little picture here on the screen probably also in the thumbnail so you know let me just screenshot that real quick you know like get get that for the thumbnail later you know that kind of thing so save the photos all right cool <laughs> for reference um here's the different planes that we are in uh lauren is marsh flats dominaria is scalding tarn innistrad is verdant catacombs monka arid mesa and finally ixalan is misty rainforest but that's not all when you purchase Ultimate Edition, those five fantastic fetch lands, fantastic looking lands, come in a commemorative box that can be used for a display like so. So you can see it kind of over here. It's a little blurry, but beautiful um, box that they come in, like really well packaged. And they also come individually cased in a little plastic container. Um, so if you haven't seen those, I have one. One second. If you haven't seen these little plastic containers, this is similar to what they're going to be packaged in. Just a little plastic container, opens up, keeps the cards nice and safe. Um, so that's what they'll individually be packaged in. And then that's your box, you know, everything like that. So as usual, new arts, like I said previously, not foil. They're going to be non-foil editions of the lands. So something to make sure that you are able to get it. Um, here in the article, it says that only... Uh, each store, each local game store will receive an average of 10 copies of Ultimate Edition. So you're going to make sure you get them quick. They're going to be on sale May 29th. So make sure you scoop those up if you are interested in them. Um, I think they're a great buy. I don't see a reason not to get them. Marsh Flats, I mean, 
fetch lands are so usable in all the formats, um, except for standard, of course. But I would highly recommend purchasing this, especially if you if you need fetch lands anyways. Um, you get the exclusive art, and they're probably going to be worth more than the normal fetch lands in the future. So here it also says, I'm going to read this word for word so I don't mess anything up. Um, while the vast majority of these will go out to WPN stores, there will be another opportunity to pick these up. The week after these go on sale at WPN stores, we'll be running a secret layer super drop much like we did in December. Uh, if you don't know what they're talking about, it's the set of seven uh, secret layers that it first started with. Bitter Blossom Dreams, Kaleidoscope Killers, uh, and I don't know the rest of them. I don't remember all the names exactly, but that is what it will be like. We'll share more details about all of the drops closer to June, but the one detail we can share with uh, today is that you purchase the bundle that combines each drop that goes on sale during the super drop, and you'll receive one random fetch land for each bundle you purchase. That is pretty sweet. So if you, you have to buy the super drop to get a fetch land, um, but that could make the secret layers that come out later very, very worth it, especially considering that Scalding Tarn is going to be probably very expensive because I believe it's almost 100 bucks right now, and that's the normal edition, so this one probably will see um, it settle probably around 90, 100, depending on if the market moves because they are getting reprinted, um, but I would say I would expect that Scalding Tarn to sit up uh, very high on the list around 90 and 100 and then verdant catacombs and the other ones are pretty expensive as well i think verdant catacombs is the second or uh and then mystery rainforest or something like that that's somewhat of the order hopefully that kind of gives you a little insight on whether or not you might want to buy the other super drop that is coming um they will not be legal and standard so don't get your hopes up for that because i mean that makes sense they're too powerful for standard let's be real it'd make it way way too uh crazy and standard just no can't happen not gonna be in standard unfortunately for you standard players but it's just not gonna happen so there is no exact msrp because that's what wizards likes to do now is that there's no msrp uh, the price will be probably determined on, by your local game store. Um, I know my local game store, no shade to them, but they do kind of overprice the boxes. I know Mystery Booster Box was going for like 90 to 100 depending on where you got it when it first came out. They were trying to sell it for 140 right away. So unfortunately, my store, and I'm sure a lot of your other stores are like that, they might price them up a bit higher than they should or what other stores will do. But that being said, it's going to be really limited, it sounds like. So it's a give or take situation, but I would still get it even if it is and you're really interested in these fetch lands. I do think they're hold value. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. I don't think there's any value concerns with this because, I mean, they're fetch lands. They're going to hold value. Everyone uses them everywhere. Seriously, don't worry about the value on this one. <laughs> I would say these are expected to be around probably 150 to 200 bucks a pop. Actually, redoing that in my mind, I'd say about 200 to 250 is what I would expect for these to go for. So just keep that open in your mind. Um, I don't know if they come with a stained glass planeswalker or not. They might, they might not. I don't know. I really have no guesses. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Let me know down below what you guys think of the Ultimate Edition Secret Layer. Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? Are you going to opt out of this one? Are you going to buy the Super Drop and hope you get a really nice fetch win? Maybe multiple. Hope you get all of them. What are you going to do? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I will see you guys all in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Really helps out a ton, like I said earlier in the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out. See ya.